In this tutorial, we're going to talk about layer presets. Layer presets give you the ability to save the current status of all of these different settings here in the layer strip, and then also allows you to recall them in any other layer that you create. So to get started, we're just going to start here in an empty project. You can use any project that you may already have here in PVP. And we're going to, if you haven't already, click the drop down arrow next to layer details so you can see this expanded view of the layer strip. Without that arrow selected, you may see something like this where you're seeing just the top of the layer strip. So we want to make sure we've clicked that button so that reveals the entire layer strip for you. Before we actually save a layer preset, we're going to need to change some settings here so that we can easily apply that to other layer strips down the road. So the first thing we can do is we'll select a target. We'll go ahead and choose our SDI output as the target we're going to use. And you can also change your blend mode. So maybe we want to set up a blend and we always want to be able to, you know, recall the settings here for our blend modes if we ever want to blend things together. So we'll change that to multiply. You can change the opacity of the layer and that will be applied there in the layer preset as well. Up next is your effects preset. And we're going to touch on that in a separate tutorial, but that's going to be pretty similar to a layer preset, but only for effects. And we'll cover that again, like I said, in another tutorial. Beneath that is the effects build duration. And again, that's how long it takes for the effects to build in and out of that layer. So you can change this. That'll be saved there as well. Then you can also apply individual effects to each layer. So perhaps we want to add, you know, a blur and we'll put maybe Picasso on there as well. And then you can also add a transition as well to the layer. So we'll just go ahead and say we always want this layer to dissolve. So we're going to select the dissolve transition specifically. So once you've got all of those settings done, you can then come back up to where it says preset. And now you have the ability to click save as. Once you do save as, you can enter the name of the layer preset. So we'll just call this one um, blending because I selected the blend mode there and changed that. So we'll call that blending and say OK. And now you'll see that my layer preset name has been assigned to the layer. And obviously those settings all stayed the same because that's what I selected. Going back up here to this preset button, you now have a couple different options available to you. You have unlink preset and you have restore to default. If you click unlink preset, then that suddenly means that your layer preset is no longer applied and any changes you make won't be made to that layer preset. If you keep that layer preset selected by selecting it here, then any changes that you make to the preset, you'll notice as soon as I make a change that I get a star by the name of the layer preset. Then I can click on the preset itself and select save, and that's going to update the saved preset to include any of the changes I made to those layer settings. The last option up here in the preset menu is reset to default. And when you choose that, that's going to reset the entire layer strip back to the default settings. So there's no target set selected. The blend mode is normal, opacity at 100, no effects assigned, and the default effect build duration of 0.3 seconds also. So then you can see here if we have multiple layers that you can then select the same area here for layer preset and choose the preset that we created previously. And all of that information is immediately added into the layer strip. This is the case for the same project in which you built the layer preset, but also layer presets supersede projects, meaning that you can actually use any layer presets you create in any project in PVP3 on the same machine. So those layer presets will be available to you in any future projects in case you find that there's a very specific way that you like your layer setup and you want to just be able to recall that easily, you'll be able to do that. And finally, deleting the layer presets, you would just click on the preset name and then you'll just hover over the name of the preset in the list there and then select delete. And then you'll see that now there's no preset selected and that's actually disappeared from the list here. And then of course, if you click reset to default, that will reset the layer strip to default. For more information on layer details and the other features in PVP3, visit our knowledge base and other tutorials found at www.renewedvision.com.